What's going on guys? Welcome back. We're taking a little bit of a break from the truck today. I picked up this little quad. It's a 50cc uh, little Japanese quad on Marketplace a while back for really cheap and it doesn't run. Um, I, the only thing that I did check is I did check to make sure that the engine's not locked up. So we're going to see if we can get this thing running today. Real quick though, I wanted to mention that we do have official Built by Sonic shirts. Um, we're going to have these available here pretty soon. We only ordered a few just to kind of see how they fit, uh, see how the material was. We're going to be having, what is it, Nicole, green? This green, it's like an army green and a Texas orange and then maybe some black here pretty soon. So stay tuned for that. Once we get them, the new order in stock, we'll go ahead and put those up for sale. All right, so I remember whenever I first got this, I hooked up a jump pack up to it and I had no power to anything. Uh, the key didn't work. Like if I turned the key on, it wouldn't crank. Uh, you, I think what I did was I jumped the solenoid and that's how I got it to crank just to make sure that it wasn't locked up. So I think the first thing I wanna do is pull these plastics off and just kind of check and see kind of how this system works. There has to be some kind of a controller or something like that. Um, so I'm gonna pull all this stuff apart and see if we can at least get this thing cranking on its own. So we got all the plastics off and I was able to find a wiring diagram on Google. I think it's for this quad. Um, so what I'm gonna do is we're gonna kinda take some of these zip ties off, kinda open this harness up and see where exactly, it looks like off the battery, the positive cable, the battery, it looks like there's a fuse somewhere. I'm not really sure where it's at though. Um, and then that goes to our, it looks like the key, the ignition switch. It's hard to tell. This diagram is not, it's not a really good diagram, but we're gonna kind of pull this apart and see what we're missing here. Uh, maybe this fuse is just blown. Uh, but the key here is to try and get this thing cranking on its own and see if we have spark and then kind of go from there. Gas. Gas. Oh, that's the problem. It needs gas. Gas. Yeah. According to this diagram, the brake lever has to be engaged in order for this thing to crank. So it should back have up. power. I think you're too close. I think I Okay, so we gotta plug in our start switch. So grab me that plastic. He knew what he was doing. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Where's the key at, Lou? Can you take it back? Oh, 
Okay. Daddy might need it. It's always promising when you see duct tape on the wires. See the light? It means we got power at the ignition switch. So then we want to see. Yeah. Where's your key? What'd you do with your key? It's right there on the ground. Grab your key. Right there. Right there, dude. You, you kicked it. <laughs> key. Key. Alright, let's see your key. Put your key in there. Okay, turn it. Turn it. All the way. There you go. Alright, he's on. Oh, we, gotta test it now, then. we need to see if we have power in our brake switch. Let's see if the light comes on. We do not have power in our brake switch. We should have power in our brake switch. Right, so that's. Oh, there we go. Okay, we got power or brake switch. Both sides. If we take our brake switch off. Yeah. We only have power on one side. Okay, so the brake switch is working. So put the brake on. Yeah. Look, dude, we got it working. We got it working. Listen. Listen. It's, not working. Just <laughs> it's working. Now it's not working. Let's see here. Nothing. We got him so yeah. good. We got him so good. The brake switch is like kind of randomly working. Finicky. Huh? Like. Alright. Light slit. It should crank now. I think our starter's kind of messed up. Just banging on the wall. Here it Where's that button? Push the yellow button. See the yellow? Uh, uh. See the yellow button? Yellow. Push it. Oh. Sounds like the starter's a little messed up, but it kind of works. All right, so it cranks. And now, we need to see if we can get it started. Actually, let's see if we have spark. Let's see if we have spark. You know how to check spark? Watch out, buddy. That's sharp. Don't stab yourself. I'm gonna teach you how to check spark, dude. I'm gonna tell you something right. to my green, but not on here. Alright, so mommy's going to hit the yellow button. Okay, yellow button. Where's the yellow button? Check your spark. Where's the yellow button? Push it. Ready? It's not, uh, the starter's not engaging. Hit it again. There we go. Okay, we have spark. All right, turn it off. All right, so we got spark. Got cranking. Take this thing off. Spray a little starting fluid in there, which I think I'm out of. Yeah, yeah. I have to run a BG. A crusty old BG. Yeah. Starty. All right, time to pull the carburetor off. We got it fixed, man. Mm. Sorta. All right. Pull the carburetor off. Clean it up. 
put some fresh gas in it. Oh, let me get the gas in it. Yeah. Yeah. All right, we've got the carburetor off. Go ahead and take it apart. See if we can't clean it up. Clean the jets out. And get this thing to start on its own. Stinks. I hate the smell of stale gas. Ugh. <clears throat> Stuff so soak the whole carburetor in here for a while, and we'll clean it out. Okay, so while this stuff was soaking. We went ahead, went to the store, got us a new battery, some fuel line, fuel filter, and what else did I get? A shut off valve, and new terminal ends because ours were broke off. Let's go ahead and pull this carburetor out, get it all cleaned up, get it put back on the quad. So we're all ready to go. The only problem is our starter clutch decided to crap the bed on us. So 
We're going to use the trusty drill. Good as new. Who needs a starter? Alright, dude. You ready? Can you go for a ride? Yeah. Yeah. Alright, come on. All right guys, so with that, that's a wrap for today. Quad runs pretty good. It's a little sluggish with me and Logan, that's like 230 pounds. So I had to get out and push a few times, but this is perfect for him. He's just, obviously he's not even two years old, so he's not even quite sure how to work this thing yet. So this will be perfect for him for a couple years. And then future kids, you know, I think I have a whole, a total of like $150 in this quad, including what I purchased it for. So I think that's a pretty good deal, if you ask me. This might not have been the most entertaining video for you guys. It's not as cool as LS swapping a Toyota Tacoma, but it's time that I get to spend with my family, with my son. That is the most important thing to me in my life. And so if I can spend time with my family and film YouTube videos all at the same time. That's like the best of both worlds. So yeah guys, that's gonna be it. Thank you for watching, thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing, and we will catch you next time. Peace.